We're standing on the edge of the cliff, ready to jump. Three, two, one, Paco. I'm driving in the middle of the desert, and all of a sudden, the car in front of me just swerves, and there is Paco, and he immediately just runs up to me. Oh my God, see all my stuff everywhere? That's because I slammed on my brakes. I'm gonna keep you now because you're a miracle. You're a miracle dog, huh? No collar, anything. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep him, because you know, I have a lot of other things going on in my life. A lot of adventures, and I didn't think a dog could uh, keep up with me. That's exactly what he did. We went into Lake Powell. Just a bunch of exploring, and he was having the time of his life. We did some dirt biking there, and I thought he was gonna be terrified of the dirt bike, but no, he loves the dirt bike. He likes to chase me. I need a donut around you, Buck. I need breathe. From the lake, we ended up here. For the last two weeks, I've been doing a lot of base jumping. For the first few days, I was leaving Paco in the bus to go base jump. I was only gone for an hour or two hours at a time, and he would freak out when I left him. He knew we were going out and adventuring, and he was getting so jealous that he couldn't go. So the one jump, I took him up with us, just so we could watch us jump off and understand what we were doing with a parachute attached. He was with my friend Eli, and when I jumped, freaked out, was shaking, was terrified that I just died. And I opened my parachute and then I yelled up, Hey, my girl! Fuck out! When I yelled his name, my buddy Eli said he immediately stopped shaking and he was completely calm. And after a few jumps with Paco along watching, I figured maybe I'd take him for a jump since he hasn't been scared of anything yet. I put a harness on Paco, I strapped him up, did some experimentation with how he would react in the harness, and the entire time, completely chill. He just loved all the attention and the affection. We hiked up to this pretty big cliff with Paco, and he obviously loved the entire hike up. Get to the top, I thought he was gonna be a little nervous. He goes right up to the edge of the cliff. So I strap him up onto my chest, and he's just looking around, chill. He's not afraid of the 400 foot cliff that we are standing on. He's just hanging out, he's just calm. And then we jumped. Ascend it. Three, two, one, Paco. Paco! Hey, Paco! You know I get up here? Woo, Paco! Paco is officially the best venture dog I could have ever asked for. And I can't wait to see what else he's brave enough to do.